are some factors that can complicate an application for U.S. citizenship. Hi, my name is Molly Hahug. I am an immigration attorney practicing in the San Francisco Bay Area. And I wanted to make a quick video to talk about what are some things that can cause issues when you are at the point of applying for U.S. citizenship. So a lot of time in my practice, I see clients who believe that filing for citizenship is a simple process. They have gone through a whole journey of getting a green card and they believe that filing for citizenship just means filling out a form and going to a quick interview. That's far from the truth. So especially if there are certain issues that you have in your immigration history. So for example, the first issue that can complicate things is if you have extensive overseas travel. If you're applying for U.S. citizenship based on a green card that you've held for at least five years, you must be in the United States for at least half of those five years. And you can't have any trip outside of the U.S. for more than six months. So if either of those things are not present, so if you have been traveling outside of the U.S. quite a bit and you've been outside for more than half of the five years before filing, or you have a trip abroad that's been longer than six months, uh, you're going to have problems when you apply for citizenship. That's when it's really recommended that you call an attorney and discuss what are your options. Another issue that can complicate things is if you have any overdue taxes. So one of the questions on the citizenship application asks if you have any overdue taxes. So definitely uh, you will have to get some legal advice and take care of your taxes before filing for citizenship. Another issue that can come up is if you have had your green card because of a marriage to a U.S. citizen or because of marriage to a green card holder who sponsored you for the green card and you are now divorced from that person, USCIS or immigration authorities will take a closer look at that marriage to make sure that it was bona fide when you got the green card. Bona fide means that you married this person for the right reasons and not just for U.S. immigration purposes. So even at the citizenship phase, even though you've had that green card maybe for a very long time, they can still question whether that marriage was a valid one. So if you have a divorce in your past from the spouse who sponsored you, you should get legal advice before filing for citizenship. And the last issue and perhaps the most important one is if you have any criminal convictions in your past, you definitely need to consult a lawyer before you apply for citizenship. Even though you have a green card, that green card can possibly be taken away if you have a conviction that makes you deportable from the United States. So if you have a conviction before filing for U.S. citizenship, you must get legal advice. So these are some of the issues that I see that come up when people are ready to file for citizenship. It is not just a very simple process, and I have helped many, many people navigate their way through this last step towards their U.S. immigration journey, and I'll be happy to do the same for you. So please do give us a call if you are in this situation, 415-895-0661. Thank you.